Hi, Matt Deegan here, and in today's Speedy Session, I'll be talking through exporting audio in Ableton Live 10. The export menu is located under File, Export Audio and Video. The shortcut is Shift, Command and R. In Session View, make sure the clips to be exported are active with the Play button illuminated. If the Play buttons aren't active, no sound will be exported. It doesn't matter where the clips are on the grid, as long as the Play button is active. All unactive clips will be left out of the recording. In Arrangement View, make sure the Back to Arrangement View button has been pressed. Highlight the area to be exported by clicking on the clip or selecting the area with the loop function. So if you click here on the clip and press Command and L, that will loop that area. And then anything that's active will be exported. So if this was soloed, this one here, then only that channel is going to be exported. If both of them are active, then both will be exported. And if neither were active, then neither would be exported. By default, it's going to copy from the beginning of the first clip to the end of the last clip. So if I were to copy this here and then press Shift, Command and R, it's going to pop up and it's showing you the render start is at 1, so that's at the beginning, and the render length is 17, so this one is 17 up to the end of that. Alternatively, if you click on the clip and then press Command, Shift and R, you can see it will just export the area in that clip vertically. So we've got starting at 16 and it's the render length is 2, so that's the length of that clip. So it's possible to export the master, all individual tracks, selected tracks only, or any track that you select from the options. So if it were the master, that's the master output. So at the moment, all of these are routed here through to the master, and the master is down here. So it's going to be anything you can hear coming out of that master channel. If it was all individual tracks, it's going to export the tracks individually like stems. So if we select a track, and go to selected tracks only, it's just going to select that one track there, so this one is not going to be exported. The last few options depend on how many tracks you've got, so this first one is the top track, the second one is the second track, and then there's the reverb and the delay returns, so you can export those as well. So I mentioned the render start and the length before, but they can also be changed in here, so if we selected and made that 2, and then maybe I want the length to be just 10 bars, the includes return and master effects, so by default, if that's on master, it would include them, so it's greyed out. If you had it on individual tracks or any of the other ones, select to turn it on. With renderers loop selected, it will not only make sure the audio loop is seamless, but also the effects on it. Mono will make the output mono, which is half the file size of stereo and good for some audio assets in games. Normalize raises the level of the track so it peaks at 0 dB. The analysis file creates an analysis file for use in Ableton projects. The default sample rate is set to 44.1, which is CD quality, 48K is DVD quality and the standard for audio in films and TV. If you want a high quality render, the encode PCM or pulse code modulation needs to be turned on. There are three uncompressed file types to choose from, WAV or Waveform Audio File, which was developed by Windows, AAFF or Audio Interchange File Format developed by Apple, or FLAC, Free Lossless Audio Codec, a compressed file format without loss of quality. Now on to bit depth. 16-bit is used on CDs and works in Unreal Engine 4, 24-bit is used in Blu-ray and DVDs, so it's choosing the most appropriate option for you. Dither options. Use dithering to mask quantization error when converting from 24-bit to 16-bit. MP3 encode. If an MP3 is required, turn this on. CBR stands for Constant Bit Rate Encoding, and it's an encoder that's good at processing audio data relatively quickly. SoundCloud Upload is an automatic way of sharing the track on SoundCloud. A window will pop up after the main render has taken place. This section here is for video rendering, which I'm not going to go into on this occasion. Once the correct settings are selected, click Export and you'll be asked for a location and file name. OK, that's it for this speedy session. See you next time, and remember to like and subscribe for weekly Ableton tips. <laughs>